Today on Pots and Trials we're at RHS Harlow Car in Harrogate and that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Darlac. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. Well today we're having a quick look around Harlow Car which is the RHS's most northerly garden just on the outskirts of Harrogate in North Yorkshire and it's an amazing garden it really is. It's a garden that looks great all through the seasons spring, summer, autumn and winter and there are several iconic features in the garden that have been here for many years since it was probably first developed as the garden that we know it today by the late Geoffrey Smith when he was superintendent here and probably the most famous of the features is the streamside garden where the stream runs along the bottom of the valley through the garden and at this time of the year it looks absolutely magnificent with the wonderful candelabra primulas. One of the other features here in the garden are these long borders and this broad path of grass that runs from the top of the garden and dissects it in half and runs all the way through up into the woodland. And these borders are just absolutely full of colour, especially at this time of the year and as we go into late summer. And what we've got at the moment are just some wonderful plants that are great in gardens. We've got things like the, the salvia here, these sort of shrubby salvias or the wood sages there, with just wonderful flowers that just keep going and going. As soon as the terminal flower goes, we get the side shoots growing out there. And if we go down, a strantia grows particularly well in the soil here. I just love these little pink cushion flowers on there. Almost look like paper flowers around the edge. And again, they flower and flower and flower and are great for attracting the pollen in the garden and then this one this is one of my favorites this is a herbaceous perennial totally hardy called Gelinia trifoliata and it's got these very delicate white flowers on there it grows as you can see to about four feet tall it doesn't need staking in fact very very little in these huge herbaceous borders is staked because they're planted fairly close together and they all support themselves and then we've got the towering thalictrum there at the back just starting to come into flower they must be seven feet tall there with those straight stems and glaucous foliage and pale yellow pom-pom flowers. So it really is an amazing garden, so much color, and it will just get better as the season goes on. Well, like all good gardens, Harlow Car is continually evolving. And what the garden team are doing here is lots of planting around the garden, new planting and revamping existing borders, which they're doing here. And what they do is they take the plants out, they clean through the soil, get rid of any perennial weeds, get the soil in really good condition and then replant, often with new varieties as well. And although at the moment it might look a little bit sparse because this is newly planted, give this 12 months and it will be absolutely magnificent and being good condition for many years and one of the plants they've introduced into it is one of my favorites this one with really deep purple leaves is Actea it loves the soil conditions here this clay moist soil and it will grow to about four feet tall and be magnificent right the way through late summer Well, the main colours through the borders are pinks and purples and mauves and blues, and they all sort of blend together, especially because you've got different heights and textures in there. But you can then add extra colours just to, to highlight plants within the border. And this is a really good example. We've got a block here of this plant called Flomus russeliana, and it's a, a strong growing perennial, has these large glossy leaves down here, these green leaves which look very attractive in the right and then they put up these tall flowering spikes here and the flowers are arranged in whorls all the way along the flowering stem. Really attractive 
nice pale colour yellow and the bees absolutely adore them on a sunny day. But once the flowers have gone, we don't need to deadhead it because we can leave these to stand all the way through the autumn and winter and we get the worlds of the seed pods there and they look really attractive, especially in the winter when everything else has finished flowering because they add some height and structure to the borders when they've got that sort of browny russety colour. So by mixing all these different plants together we can make sure the borders look good for as long as possible. Another part of the garden that's been redesigned and planted over the last couple of years is this. This is the sun border. It used to be eucalyptus. It was all ripped out, widened, a new yew hedge put at the back, and then planted with some really interesting plants, things that you might not associate with growing in North Yorkshire. But this is quite a sheltered part of the garden, faces south, so protected. And it's got lots of plants in here, things like lovely salvias, the shrubby salvias, salvia microphylla, which will stand it fairly cold. Just look at this lovely lickness here. These are so vibrant, the flowers on this, and we've got hebes in here, lots of pen stemons, and it really has that sort of Mediterranean feel to it. And it's just a wonderful place to be in the garden where you can sit on this new bench here and you can just look at all the garden before you. It really is a wonderful place to take it all in. Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trials and I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of some of the borders here at Harlow Car. There's so much more to see, we've only just scratched the surface. So if you are up in the North Yorkshire area, the garden is well worth a visit. We'll be back again with you next week, so we'll see you then. Bye. <music>